This song is so freaking happy that I want to sing along to it. It's so freaking bad. Good lord, I love this overworld theme. Oh, by the way, how's it going, guys? This is Corecat13, that woman with the deep voice. And last time, we got introduced to the premise and defeated stages one through three. In this episode, we're going to be world one. Alrighty. Whee! God, I just, I couldn't wait, man. I couldn't wait. Gotta get that toilet paper. Ow. This isn't Kirby 64. How dare you? The rocks have betrayed me. How dare they? It's just bull dookie. The rocks cannot betray Kirby. Kirby betrays the rocks. Get out of here. Ooh, I see an energy sphere. I want it. I want it. Do 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 do. Whee! Yeah, we'll probably be back down to grab it here in a second. I wonder if we'll actually. Oh, we are getting introduced to a brand new ability. Or I thought we were. That was pointless. You lied! Oh yeah, I should mention that that enemy that we just walked by, that thing's name is Como. Interesting. And now we get the Happy Cabby Invincibility theme! I'm insane with anger! <laughs> taking a massive, taking a massive dump on, taking it to the doo-doo. God, it feels so powerful. I always love becoming invincible Kirby. Just, ugh, it feels so powerful, man. I'm actually gonna hang out down here because sometimes they like to hide shit. Ah, oh, man, that's so fun. Ooh, yeah. I wonder what's up here. Nothing? Okay. I just want to do a little exploring, make sure I haven't missed anything, because it would be like the devs to do that. It's like Yoshi, you just, you gotta explore everything to make sure that you've gotten everything accounted for. Nothing? Nope. Okie dokie. Well, I guess that was worth it. Man, I'm tasting that taco I had earlier, let me tell ya. I mean, I'm sure Kirby would be perfectly happy with that because I had food, but... I think they'd be even angrier because I didn't offer them any. I wanna know how Kirby enemies work, by the way. Like, that was a Sindian bow and arrow. It was weird. Let's see, is there nothing up there? Okay. Bye-bye. Y'all can just keep living your lives. I'm just gonna keep going. Oh, now we're inside of a cave. Ooh, I want that. Give me the sword! I got the sword! Ooh. And now we have, um, this thing. The shield bugle. I don't know what its official name is, and quite frankly, I don't care. I call it the Shield Bugle because it looks like a bugle. Oh, hey! A new one. I'll take that. Oh, it even kills enemies. Hot damn. That's pretty cool. Ah, I died! Do, 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 do. Please tell me this is the first one. Please tell me this is the first one. Please tell me this is the first one. It's the second one? Are you kidding me? That's the second one. Okay then. Yeah, well. Not the end of the world. And knowing Kirby games, we sh Oh, hello. Oh. Got a new super ability! 
I'll take that. Ah! Monster Flame! Oh, man. Oh, baby. The power! The power of the Kirby! Oh, boy. Die! Die! Bow to Kirby. Kirby and his awesome dragon. Yeah! Ah! Shit! Man, I love the theme of the super abilities. So good. I think we might end up having yet another counter that we might need to start adding. How many times do I talk about how awesome the music is? Well, but I just destroyed nature. I'm a bitch. Oop, and we just created another rift to another dimension. Excellent. I want to destroy this first, just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Nothing? Okay. Back into another dimension! Ooh, boy. You know, I'm kind of surprised they didn't add in, like, any future abilities, like, um, like the spider ability. That would have been really cool. Do, 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 do. Get out of here, you stupid spiders. I have the power. Nintendo power. Ah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Power of the Kirby. I have the power of the suck. Oh shit. Oh boy, another dimension nearly got me. Alright, get a feeling we're about to face off with another Spear Doomer. Let's see here. I'll take electricity. Yep, another round of the Spear Doomers. Come on, bitch! Feel the pain! Feel the power of the curb! Do 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 do! Yeah! No damage! And I'll happily take those. Woohoo! No! You know what would have been really cool? Like a super version of Spark. Imagine just how overpowered that would be. I mean, Spark is already really powerful, but good fucking shit. Imagine just like a super version of Spark. And actually, believe it or not, there was actually almost a time ability, or a clock ability, that also had a super power, or a super ability. But yeah, Spark almost got one too. I'm just really sad that Spark never got it, but whatever. Oh boy! Oh gee, I wonder who that is. Now let's go back in, because I missed out on the first one. Which is a good thing that they actually introduced the idea that, um... You may need to actually go back to certain areas in order to um, collect certain um, energy spheres. Get out of here! I wonder if this will act like a boomerang. Oh, okay, so that's a portal. Okay. All right, can I leave the stage? No, I can't. Okay, so this isn't like... Kirby's Dream Land 3, where if you solve the puzzle or whatever, it technically counts. Or Dream Land 2? I don't know. So I guess I'll meet you in a little bit. Okay, I'm back. Now that I've gotten all the energy spheres, now I can safely go into the next stage. Which looks like 
we may or may not be battling a certain sentient tree. Gee, I wonder who this is. Could it be Wispy Woods? <clears throat> Surely not. Oh my god, it's Wispy. Feel the pain, Wispy. Just like it did to your brothers. Man, quit with that air puff shit. That's my job. Oh shit. That's a new power. He's gained the ability to inhale. I mean, he's still fucking pathetic, but still. I mean, I'll give Wispy Woods credit. At the very least, he actually feels a bit more intimidating this time around. Feel the pain, feel the pain. Time to feel the pain, feel the pain, feel the pain, feel the pain. Bye-bye. By Jews, that was easy. <laughs> I'll take that, please. Da-da-da-da! I got some things. Do the happy Kirby dance, do the happy Kirby dance, do the happy Kirby dance. La-la-la-la-la, yay. Alrighty, more cutscenes. Ooh, I love the way that mirror looks. That's so cool. What's it doing? What's it doing? What's it gonna do? What's it gonna do? I'm excited. Alrighty. Its rudders are repaired. What do you have to say, Magalore? So happy. We did it, Kirby. My ship has its oars back. Thank you so much. I'm counting on you to find the other missing pieces. Keep up the good work. And don't forget to keep an eye out for all those energy spheres. No problem, Magalore. <laughs> if you collect enough, the broken doors within my ship will reactivate. There are some really cool sub-games that you can play with your friends. What friends? Not to mention copy ability rooms with all kinds of copy abilities to try out. I don't know why I decided this was my voice, but sure. And there are some, and there are several challenge stages that will really test your abilities. If you find enough energy spheres, reactivating those doors would be a breeze. So, whenever you see one, be sure to grab it. Well, you already have 13 energy spheres. Way to go, Kirby. You reactivated the door to a challenge stage. It's over there in the room on the right. Why don't you give it a try? Alrighty, so with these energy spheres, they will unlock several challenge stages. In this case, we've unlocked the sword one. Very cool, very cool. I might do those at a later date. But to be honest, I really have no interest in doing them right now because I want to just focus on the main stages. So, anyway. It's time to head out to the main map. Alright, and we have the obligatory desert stage, which is Raisin Ruins. I do love the pun there, that's really good. Alright, let's enter Cookie Country to see if we have any bonus stages. Just curious, because if they... Interesting. Oh, I see, that's just to celebrate you getting all the energy spheres. I guess they don't have any EX stages in this game. Very interesting. Yeah, well, off to the world map we go! Alrighty, time to head to Raisin Ruins. So happy. <clears throat> Alrighty, let's head off to World 2-1. Oh, dude, look at that background. So cool. And we got our first, our second, excuse me, 
Our second unique ability, the Whip Ability. The Whip Ability is pretty damn useful, and trust me, you're going to be needing it for a lot of different things. Plus, it gives Kirby a cute little cowboy hat. It's very cute. Get off me! I don't want your herpes! Yeah, in case you're curious as to what that thing is called, that is called Pacto. And... This right here is the first of the brand new abilities exclusive to um, Kirby Return to Dreamland DX, the Sand Ability. Finally, showing off all the elemental abilities as it combines both Earth and Air. Very cool. And believe me, we're not even done with all the special abilities. Because believe me, there are a lot of them. Of course, we have the Festival ability, and we just got introduced to the Sand ability. However, there's actually one more special ability that we have yet to see, Mecha. I would like Sand back, please. Thank you. Yeah. Just curious to see what my move set is. Get out of here. Oh, cool! You can actually use that, like the whip ability. That's cool. Oh God, Scarfies! Not Scarfies. I don't like Scarfies. They're assholes. All right, we got the fire ability. Ah, Naruff. Haven't seen you in a while. Get out of here. Ah, the signature fuse that must always be in a Kirby game, as of Kirby's adventure. This really does feel like a uh, reimagining of Kirby's adventure a little bit, anyway. Oh, hello. Da 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 da. Well, that was fun. Just admiring this music real fast. Boop. I'll take that, please. Ooh, another one. Damn this stupid lizard! Oh, that's adorable, seeing Waddlebees right around on the rough as if it were a Bronco. <coughs> Mercy. Okay, maybe this will actually serve to my benefit, because... Eh, whatever. I'll take Whip back. <laughs> bye bye. Feel the pain. Why do I get a feeling that one of them is hiding a energy sphere? Somehow I feel that is the case. Man, this is reminding me of Kirby Streamland 3. Like, there actually is a stage that does this very mechanic. Very interesting. I mean, I'm happy that they're bringing back things from all sorts of Dreamland and all sorts of games from across the series, but still, it's very interesting that they chose stuff from Dreamland 3 to bring back. Gotta watch out for these rocks! Yeah, I think this reminds me most of Sand Canyon. Let's see here. Yeah, my instincts are kicking in. I wonder if we're going to be seeing, like, a bizarro alien spacecraft inside of the desert again. Because, you know, they can't resist that. I mean, it is, in fact, a desert stage, so... There has to be an alien spacecraft somewhere around here. Taking a massive dump on... Take it... 
Alright, I ain't no fool. I'm gonna see what's up here. Nothing? Okay. Yeah, my instincts from Kirby 64 are also kicking in. Hmm. Man, it feels so much more chunky in this game. I'm talking the whip. The whip feels so much more chunky. <clears throat> and not in a bad way, it just... It feels so much more substantial, you know? It looks like it wants to use the parasol ability. They still didn't give the parasol ability a fucking hat, seriously? I'm still waiting for the day they give parasol a hat. I mean, the sun hat idea that I had back in Nightmare and Dreamland would work perfectly. Come on, just give Kirby a freaking hat for freaking parasol ability. So irritating. I like the cross hatching they do to indicate a pit. That's really cool. Get out of here. I think I'll just keep my parasol ability for now. Oh gee, a mini boss. Oh, Bonkers! Hey, how you doing, Bonkers? I got Parasol, bitch! Feel the pain! And now, Hammo, Hammo, Hammo! Release the pressure! There I go again, stealing NCS lines. Let me tell ya. Get out of here. Yep, my Kirby Superstar instincts as well as Amazing Mirror Instincts are kicking it. Man, they really are bringing things from all across the series in this game. It's almost like a celebration of what makes Kirby Kirby. It's very cool. Mmm! Ah! Oh, hey, a galaxy. Cool. Do the happy Kirby dance. Almost feels like that thing is shitting on me. It's my head cannon that it shit stars. Alrighty. Well, that takes care of that. Congratulations. Uh, congratulations. The 15 energy spears you collected have unlocked the door to copy ability room 1. Very cool. Alrighty, I think we have time for one more stage because I'm going to have to cut out quite a bit because of uh, level four, me missing something. So anyway, maybe the first swimming stage. I guess we're in an oasis. Never against that. And also, the water ability. Believe it or not, the water ability was supposed to appear in the GameCube prototype, but it didn't appear until Kirby's Return to Dreamland. And actually, it had a completely different appearance in Kirby. Uh, Adventure GameCube. It actually would have turned Kirby blue and into a sphere of water very similar to the anime. Which I thought would have been kind of interesting anyway. And similar to the ice ability, Kirby gains the ability to kind of surf a little bit. It kind of alters his mobility. In this case, it allows Kirby to surf. Whereas in the uh, ice ability, it allows them to consistently uh, skate around, which I think is adorable. Ah, the stone ability. All right. We got the stone uppercut. Yeah, it feels good now that stone has its own moveset, rather than just turning Kirby into a giant rock. Oh, that poor blipper. Let's put it out of its misery. Hey, I turned to Master Hand there for a second. Mmm. And by the way, the um, ability Kirby gets whenever he uh, does that, like whenever he's underwater, actually does have a name. It's called the uh, Water Gun. Hmm. Woo! That was almost bad. Almost didn't have enough time to grab that thing. Moved faster than I imagined. Alright. Bye-bye. Man, fuck you, Gordo. 
I'm immune to your shit. And by the way, I finally remembered what the name of this thing is called. It's called Glunk. That name is fantastic. I think I have a lot of Glunk in my poop. And I need to go take some allergy medicine between recordings. I actually need to take a shower too. I still haven't showered today. How did I guess you would give me needle? Let's see, what does it require? No! My, my extra Kirby! I wanted to have an even 20. That was lame. <clears throat> Alright, well that was fun. Give me sword. Swad. Yep, and just like in Kirby's Adventure, sword is one of only a few abilities that you can use underwater, so make good use of it. Bye bye. Oh man. Dude, this really does make me feel like I'm playing Dreamland 3. Like, this particular stage reminds me heavily of Dreamland 3. Let's see here. I'm trying to remember. I think this is. Oh crap, that's the one that unleashes the enemies. Alrighty, got number 2. Mighty number 2! Get out of here, Glunk. Do 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 do. So how are y'all doing today, by the way? This is still March the 3rd when I'm recording this, 2023. I almost said 2022 again. That would have been awkward. And I'm having a pretty good day off so far. It always feels good whenever you have a day off, and it looks like I only have one day off again next week, which would be on Friday, so. Which fortunately is my normal day off now, but whatever. Ooh, I'm sensing that we're about to get a super ability. Man, now I just want to play Dreamland 3. And I don't know why. <laughs> Get out of here, freaking Kabula. Or not Kabula. Forget what it's called. Kaboo, I think. Alrighty! Aww! Time to feel the power! <laughs> you will fear the power of Kirby with the massive, powerful monster beam. Die. Haya. God, I feel so powerful. These super abilities, man. Oh, man. Whoever came up with the super abilities, they're a fucking genius, let me tell ya. Destruction! It's what's for breakfast. Oh, hello. I want to listen to this music, man. This music is so good. I'm surprised they didn't put it in Super Smash Brothers. Oop, another wormhole. Wonder if there'll actually be an occasion where two of them appear. See you later, reality. I am waiting for the night to fall. Name that song. And the band. Do 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 do. 
At least we're ending the video with another dimension. I just love little, like, warps from reality whenever they're done in these games. Like, it doesn't matter what kind of game it is. I don't know, like, what game it's from or whatever. But I love when you enter these little parallel dimensions. Because parallel dimensions always have been, like, one of my favorite things in fiction. Just so cool. I mean, considering the fact that I already know that there are alternate versions of a lot of Kirby's allies and stuff, it makes me wonder if there's, like, another dimension version of Kirby in here. Ooh, fuck, I'm about to die. Jet! <laughs> well, at least I died by falling down a pit. Ugh! My face! Well, that, that was just a small blunder. We just don't think about that. Yeah, I was disappointed yesterday because, um, because we actually had a big storm blow by and we had no GH. I was not happy. I wanted to see what was next in the story. But either there was some presidential shit that happened or it was just news covered to the storm, which makes sense, but at the same time, I just, I don't care. I need my soaps! Now that my mom's boss actually used to watch General Hospital. Found it interesting. It's like, really? He watches General Hospital? I didn't know that! Very interesting. Alrighty, well, let's see here. Give me that. I'll take whip, please. Alright, it's time to battle another Sphere Doomer. Dude! Enjoy the pain caused by the awesomeness that is the whip ability. Oh, this thing has fire! Interesting. It's kind of like Miracle Matter. They're capable of copying Kirby's abilities. God, I can't wait till we get to Kirby 64. That game is so fun. I wonder if you can actually get fire from there. Oh, first time getting damaged by a Spear Doomer. I feel embarrassed. Because Spear Doomers are easy. Come on. Alrighty, we got two more Energy Spheres. Hell yeah. Alright, and that tells... Uh, that tells me that the exit is not far from here. Strike a pose. I love that Kirby strikes a pose whenever they leave a, another dimension. It's just cute. Mm. Oh man, so close! Do 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 do. Boop. I do love that pose. It's probably my favorite of the Kirby poses. So cute. Alrighty, well that takes care of that stage. Oh hey, a Waddle Dee. Ah, 20 energy spheres. We've unlocked the sand challenge. What do you have to say, Waddle Dee? Souvenir shop. Hey Kirby. I come all the way here from another from a different world. I'm from a fantastical amusement park called Mary Magaland. I run the souvenir shop. Hmm. Interesting. So there actually is a warp zone to Mary Magaland in the main game itself with these Waddle Dees. Let's see, is there a stage over here? Nope. Okie dokie. Well, I think we made quite a bit of progress this episode. I mean, we beat a boss, we collected more energy spheres, we repaired part of the Lord Starcutter. I think that's a good place to stop. So, next time on Kirby's Return to Dreamland DX, we shall take on level 3 and defeat World 
number two. See you guys then. I've been CoreCat13, signing out.